Hi, my name is Mike Gabin, and welcome to Advanced Button Simulator, otherwise known as Rogue System. Uh, yeah, I've been on vacation for, just got back from a, about a week-long vacation, so that's why there wasn't any KSP videos. And I'm in the process of producing a KSP video right now that I hope to have out by the end of this week. But I thought in the meantime I could make one of these really, really quickly talk about this game, which is very much in pre-release right now. And uh, I could get this, uh, get this one off uh, just to sort of satisfy my KSP habit. So this is Rogue System, again, very much in pre-release. And uh, what we got here, you can see right now I'm in zero G. This is our ship. Uh, not much we can get to. You can actually EVA through the hatch here, but actually I can't EVA right now because I am docked. So what we're going to do in this little video is kind of go through what is available. And I thought the quickest way to do that would be to just uh, go through a little bit of a startup sequence, fly somewhere, dock with something else and we'll see how this all works so I have just entered into the pilot seat and what we got to do is get ourselves into the flight position and here's the button right there we will load ourselves in so this harness comes down spins us around and we are here and we are starting off with everything turned off uh, so what we got to do is power everything up so I figured this video will be about powering up and undocking from our station and we are docked with a station let's see here we are there this here is our ship and we are attached to this station and it's not that our ship is particularly huge but this station is actually well frankly kind of small but I gotta assume it's kind of a stand-in for a future space station so what we want to do is we want to undock we're gonna power everything up undock uh, and then we're going to let's get back in here and then we're going to fly somewhere and then we'll find another station We'll dock with that and that'll go through a lot of the features that are now available in this in this again very much a pre-release um, And I figure that will probably span about three videos because powering this thing up is Honestly a video probably in of itself. So right now everything is off. So let's start turning things on so uh, let's see here. We are going. Let's turn on our instrument lights. Start with that. And uh, actually, I think I just turned off the instrument lights, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, we'll do that. So we we have no power. This is our sort of our electricity management system. We have no power. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable one of our batteries here. Turn that on. And we're going to connect that battery. Oh, oh. so that we don't have to listen to that and we'll continue with our power up procedure so we're going to connect battery one to our first system bus and then we're going to put on auto recharge and right now we're on battery one and you can see we are running uh down on battery one right now uh let's connect on battery two click that over to here connect that to system bus two and we will also put that on auto recharge so we're now running you can see here now it says battery two we're running off of that and we will also let's put this back on battery one we can now now connect to station power so we won't be running off of our batteries that's a good thing now a lot of the systems require a lot more juice than the batteries can provide so our next step is going to be to start to fire that stuff up but wow we'll do that in just a little bit let's actually communicate with the system so we're going to turn on our communication system this is our communication we'll turn on our transmitter we don't need it right now because we're actually connected to the station and uh, yeah let's log ourselves in so we do that by pressing tab selecting five for space traffic control and we will do a quick little check-in here so this is us checking in and wait for an acknowledgement all right, and that's control saying, yes, we've checked in over. So they know we're here, we are alive. So let's, now that we got some power, let's fire up our viewports. There are no windows, everything's done with external viewers. So let's fire those up. So we'll go to display. This is our kind of main system for that. We will turn on the power. That should power on our display windows. So come on, here we go. 
and we are now looking all around us. You can change your displays to different views. Um, I like these external views, like these ones. Uh, these are kind of neat. The ones that are sort of like cameras that are attached to various different points on the station there. That one was nice. Um, I kind of wish you could split this view and have like a look, because there are times when I probably want to look outside without having to actually, you know, do this. And I would love to have a little window that you could kind of put to the side and set that to a different camera. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to put this on our, because we're connected by our aft docking port. So we're going to put this on aft towing so we can see ourselves pull away. Right now we don't see anything because our the camera is completely obscured by the fact that we're docked. But that is now going, so let's turn on some more stuff here. Actually, why don't we fire up our fuel cells. Turn that on. Uh, we won't connect it to a system bus. The fuel cells have to be considered kind of emergency power, but it's good to get them kind of up and going. Oh, I can't turn on fuel cells yet, silly, because I have no fuel. So let's go back over here, start managing our fuel. So fuel, 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 that is this panel right here. Power that one up. And we will start to, this just turns on the display. There we go. And we got to start pressurizing our four tanks. So pressurize, 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 pressurize. And you can see here we have a little gauge here that's showing that the pressure is building. We can flip between our different tanks, see that pressure is building in all of them. So that is good. I do not think we have to worry about anything else in that system. So well, now we can come back here and start going with our fuel cells. So we're going to validate that we are receiving the correct fuel. Not going to connect this to a system bus because I don't want to start burning fuel now. Do the same thing for whoops, fuel cell number two. Validate the fuel. Oh, we also should uh, do this purge. I don't know. The, the tutorials say that this is important to turn this on to keep these fuel cells healthy to do this auto purge. So we'll turn that on. Everything else, though, we're not going to do. That's it. Okay, we got to get power going. To get the main power going, we have to turn on our low energy nuclear reactor which is this whole system here so but before we get to that let's start dealing with heat this is our thermal management system here and turning start by turning on the display um we have two cooling loops which you control with this we have to have to have to before we can turn on our pumps we have to first of all there we go Start pressurizing to get fluid going into the pumps. Wait for that pressure to build up. Now we can turn on the pumps. Pumps warming now at 50%. Turn the pump onto high. There we go. And finally, we do have a laser cooling system. I'm not sure if this is 100% necessary, but we're going to turn it on anyway. And now we're going to do the same thing for loop number two. Pressurize the loop. Turn on the pump. Switch pump to high, turn on our laser cooling system. Okay, that's all good now. The one thing, I, I, I love this cockpit, I really do. Um, I love the physicality of all of these buttons, these little protective shields. I like this physical knob for, for doing these kind of things. That's all really cool. Okay, let's start turning on our nuclear reactor. So this just turns on the display. Before though, we actually start really fire things up. Let's turn back to space traffic control. Let them know we're about to turn on our nuclear reactor. So we're going to request departure clearance. By the way, we can put this on comms and it gives you a nice record of all your comms here. Just do that. And there we go. Uh, our departure is approved. Notify us before we fire up the low energy nuclear reactor. Sure, we'll do that. So. Low energy, so that we just turned on the display. We have to validate the fuel. For some reason, the tutorial says to put this on tank four. So we'll put it on tank four there. And before we can uh, start fusion, we have to heat up the core. So we turn on our core heater, and that takes a little bit of time. So while that's happening, let's fire up some more thing. These are our maneuvering thrusters down this way. Again, we'll start by turning on the display. And we're waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. We will validate our propellant. 
we will turn on our injectors and that's starting to go up um you can turn on the plasma heater super what are the, the electrocyclotron that creates the plasma don't they don't like you doing that when you're docked uh, somehow blasting the station with superheated plasma they don't appreciate that so we're gonna learn all we're gonna leave this stuff all off for now we're gonna just run this on cold gas which means we're just pushing out cold propellant you want to do that when you're near the station how is our core heating doing that's still going all right there uh let's actually ask, tell let them know that we're about to fire up our nuclear reactor ready for lenr initiation uh you're clear for to initiate that so to do that we're going to push fuel fuel fuse allow it's now enabled it has it'll turn on once this temperature gets up to the the uh temperature it needs to be let's go back to here uh this is our where we control our docking ports we have two docking ports we're currently connected to our aft docking port see here it tells us we're connected to something we're going to set that docking port as our target oh we have fusion yes we are now fusing so that means we have oh lots and lots of electricity so back up to here now it's time to you can see now this main is now green put that onto our system buses so that they're no longer running off of the batteries that allow the batteries to charge put on our main utility bus we are all now in the green everything is running super duper duckily I, oh, why don't we turn on our autopilot? These are our autopilots here. Fire that guy up. Wait for the display to turn on. Come on. Maybe I need to push this first. There we go. Okay, so that enables our autopilot. We'll get it the whole pitch, roll, and yaw. Uh, we'll get to this stuff later. This is more for navigation. Don't we'll worry about that. Uh, yeah, we are largely in the green so I think it is time for us to get ready to get out of here so again we will contract space traffic control and let them know we are ready to blast out of here here we are checking up. clearance granted over they're gonna start giving us some information here we have to enter in right now we are communicating on an open channel they're going to give us a private channel to communicate on oh please disable yes of course we have to come off of station power there we go so now we are on our own power so that they can disconnect the umbilicals and we're gonna they're gonna give us some frequencies to work with so we're gonna get ready to put them in uh, standby for departure frequencies. So we're going to enter these communication frequencies to these two empty ones here. Our first one is 45. Oops, gotta click that. 45. And this one is 2, and this one is 3. Set that. Oh, we are disconnecting. And the frequency for our docking caller is 45, 2, and 202. So we're just going to change this one to 202 set that and we'll set the locator to that this um, means this will put a locator that's locked onto that docking port and we should be blasting out of here very 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 quickly there we, go. we have now disconnected we are now moving away from the station we can use a little bit of we are on cold gas, so we're going to use our maneuvering thrusters. Pushing W is moving us away. Remember, this is an aft camera. W is thrusting forward. We are now moving away. Uh, there's some, and then we'll fire up our plasma heaters once we are. But there is something I think. That is set, that is set. It's usually you get a distance. 
Oh, yes, we have to put our display onto docking. There we go. Now we have a distance of range from our docking port we just left from. And also we have audio cues, which is really helpful when docking. And I think we have to be 200 meters away. So we're getting close to that, 150 meters away before they will let us fire up our plasma. And you can see most of our warning lights are now gone. So that is good. And we're just going to wait for clearance. There we go. You're beyond limited range and free to navigate. Have a good flight. So we're going to fire up our last systems here. Uh, this is on, this is on, this is on. So we're going to enable that. We're going to let our EM shield build up, protect us from the plasma. And then we have this, oops, this one. Helicon enable. We'll turn that on. And we will turn on. The ion cyclotron heating enabled. Gotta be honest, I'm not 100% sure what those all do, but we need to turn them on in order to ignite our plasma. So we push and hold this, and that is now burning. We now have heated plasma to help us navigate. Otherwise, we are now free to go. Let's actually do, let's take the yaw off. Now our yaw is free. We will turn. Actually, it's the arrow keys. There we go. We are now. Now let's take our displays and put this on navigation. So we can, there we go. There's our, our moon we could go to. episode what we'll do is get ourselves out of here we'll navigate our way to another planet and see if we can not find something else of interest out there but until then I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time